This is our first Marvel trailer for 2022. Today, we're going to be reacting to a brand new trailer for Marvel Studios' new Disney Plus series called Moon Knight. Now, before we get started, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And check out some of my other videos. All right, so Moon Knight, we're here. Um, What am I expecting from this show? What am I expecting from this character? I don't really know. I know... I know pretty much nothing about this character. I know some things, but most of the things that I learn about these characters as I don't read comics is what the internet tells me, is what other people who do read comics and know these characters put out on the internet. What I heard about this character is, first of all, well, he's played by Oscar Isaac. Big fan of Oscar Isaac, personally. I really like him. Ethan Hawke is supposed to be the villain. Ethan Hawke is also great. So there you go. You got Oscar Isaac and Ethan Hawke now in the MCU, and they're both in the same project playing hero and villain. That's great. Uh, when it comes to the character of Moon Knight, I know he's, his name is Moon Knight. I don't know his actual... That's how little I know about this character. I know that his name is Moon Knight, but what's like that's his superhero name. What's his name name? You know what I mean? I have no idea. Uh, it's supposed to be... It has been described... Or, it has, or it's supposed to be a very hyper-violent show. So I'm hoping that this is where we are kind of starting to bridge the area between making mature or rated R content for Marvel. Like, we're kind of slowly starting to get over that bridge. Because, okay, when it comes to the MCU now, I feel like the MCU always likes to evolve and do brand new things. And I feel like now it has become time to start maturing your content a little bit you know what i mean and i, I don't think this show is going to be rated mature but we'll see but you also have like characters like daredevil from the netflix daredevil show or wilson fisk from the netflix daredevil show you know what i mean people have seen those shows before and netflix has made those shows rated mature and like people are used to that kind of tone so if you just water it down when you bring it into the mcu it's just not the same so I kind of hope that this project, since it's the first project, I kind of hope that it's slowly starting to bridge, you know, the air between where we are now in the MCU and into kind of mature rated R content. I know they are owned by Disney and a lot of people will point that out. You know, it's Disney. Does Disney want to do it? I honestly think that Disney wouldn't really mind making an R rated MCU movie or an R rated MCU show and put on their platform. You know, Disney is just, in my opinion, Disney is just the company name, Disney now. I know, you know, it stands for the family values or whatever, you know, princesses and cartoons and all of that. Like Disney, you know, when you say rated R, it doesn't really go with Disney. But I feel like, personally, I feel like Disney wouldn't be so scared. They might be a little skeptical right now to make these projects. That's why we haven't received them yet. But I feel like Kevin Foggy, or at least I hope, I, I really hope, that they will start pushing for rated R mature content or start pushing their content to the limit to that. Maybe don't even cross the threshold between making rated R content, but like really push the boundaries there and you know, get as close to it as possible. I feel like that'd be good. That'll be the next big step that Marvel needs to take. Anyways, what was I saying about Moon Knight? Uh, yeah, hyper violent, supposed to be hyper violent. There's going to be a lot of violence in the show. I think that this guy is like rich and I believe he has a split personality disorder. I'm not 100% sure about that one. I know he has some kind of a disorder. I think it's a split personality disorder. We'll see. And it's also magic. There's going to be magic involved. So we'll see. We'll see where this goes. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of really excited to see this. This is going to be our first Disney Plus show for the year of 2022. The uh, release date was already announced. March 30th, this is going to drop on Disney Plus. But yeah, let's see. Let's see what we have to offer here. Hello and welcome to staying awake. I have a sleeping disorder. Okay, a sleeping I can't tell disorder. The between my waking life and dreams. Hello and welcome to staying awake. What the hell? Perfect song to choose for this. You are. You're bloody useless. Stevie. Steven. I can't tell the difference. Steven. Between 
Lost a contact lens. Hope you find it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Mark? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I said it earlier. Split personality disorder, essentially. In your head. This chaos in you. Embrace the chaos. Oh, ho, ho, whoa! Is he fighting a monster? What is that? That's not a human. <laughs> Streaming March 30th. Woo! Dope transition. Alright, so right out the gate, opening thoughts. That looks really good. Wow, it looks like Oscar Isaac put a lot into this performance. He lo it looks like his character is going to be going through a lot also. It looks like it's... It's actually going to be very trippy also. It started off with him talking about his sleeping disorder. So he might have a few disorders happening at the same time where his mind is being split into many different directions. The split personality thing I think is there. I think it was confirmed in this trailer where he was Steven. But then somebody else called him Mark. And then Ethan Hawke wants him to release his chaos. Chaos is probably the best word to summarize this trailer. It looks very, very chaotic. It looks like Oscar Isaac's character, Steven, Mark, Moon Knight, whatever, is going to be going through a lot in this. It, it looks, yeah, it looks insane in a very, very good way. Let's check it out one more time. Hello, and welcome to Staying Awake. I have a sleeping disorder. I can't tell the difference between my waking life and dreams. Hello, and welcome to Staying Awake. I think I'm losing it. We'll catch you, huh? You're bloody useless, Stevie. I'm Steven. <laughs> I can't tell the difference. <laughs> so this is like a thing that's haunting him? Is he like possessed? Lost a contact lens. Like a demon type of thing? Thanks. Oh my god. This poor man. Yeah. Oh my god, you're alive. What's wrong with you, Mark? Why did you call me Mark? That must be very difficult. This guy's like a cult leader? What is this? There's chaos in you. Who is he beating up right here? He's beating up like a monster. That's not a. That's not a human. That doesn't look like a human. No. I like the costume design. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. That looks really good. It looks like the show is going to focus on taking us on a trip through this person's damaged mind and that will lead into again chaos into a lot of chaotic events and stuff happening uh maybe we'll dive into his uh well i mean we'll definitely dive into his sleeping disorder his split personality disorder and maybe what o what other disorders this guy has it, it looks like it looks like we're, we will potentially be led on a path to really feel for this guy who is just going to be put through a lot where his again his mind is just gonna go all over the place and he's gonna do some maybe horrific things hopefully this was a really solid teaser i would say 
we'll wait like a month for like the next trailer maybe sometime at the end of february or maybe in the beginning of march like an actual trailer trailer will drop they'll explore the story more and what's exactly happening this was more of a teaser showed us ethan hawk showed us oscar isaac who again looks fantastic in the role i also really like the costume design of moon knight i've also seen like pictures of him he's you know that marvel uh Poster that I have back there. He's he's right there. He's over there. I'm pointing right at him. You can't see because he's out of focus. But he's over there. He's he's just standing there looking all cool and shit. So I'm also looking forward to seeing where this will fit into the MCU because this is a brand new character that we're going to be introduced to. This is a Disney Plus show where we have a whole brand new character. In last year with the Disney Plus shows, we had like WandaVision, Falcon with Soldier, Loki, What If even and Hawkeye, all those shows included characters that we knew and started with characters that we know and introduced some other characters. Maybe the one show that introduced the biggest new character is probably Hawkeye introducing Kate Bishop, but this is a brand new thing. Like we, we've never seen Moon Knight in the MCU and a lot of people, including myself, will this will be our first introduction to this character. So I'm looking forward to seeing where he will fit into the rest of the MCU and how his story will play out in the rest of the MCU and what that means for the rest of the MCU. Also, I gotta say, really, really like the poster. The poster that they released uh, with this trailer, really, really nice, big fan of that one. But yeah, if you enjoyed today's trailer reaction, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. Down in the comments, go ahead, write some things they know about Moon Knight. Are you excited for this show? Are you excited to see Oscar Isaac as Moon Knight? Uh, you know, what did you think about this trailer? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to have a discussion with you about that. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.